Yes, you, you can explain. You can I? Yeah, you can. Hello, everyone. Good morning. Myself, Teheshwari. Today, my topic is naming conventions in Salesforce. Then, what is naming convention? Naming convention in Salesforce is a rule to follow as you decide it. What to name your identifiers like class, variables, constant, method, etc. But it is not to post to follow, so it is known as a convention, not rule. The main benefit of naming convention is that it saves you time and make it easier to maintain the application in a proper way through naming convention, and it is easier to read and maintain the application. Before going to naming convention. We will discuss about the Pascal case, Camel case, Snake case. In Camel case, each word in the middle of the respective phrase begins with a capital letter. For example, in this example, Salesforce is the first phrase. It starts with a lower case, and the middle phrase start as it as it should be in a capital letter. In this Camel case, Pascal case. It is same like camel case. The first letter always is capital S. For example, Salesforce starter. It just like as a camel case, but uh, the difference is in Pascal case is uh, first letter it should be in capital letter. In camel case, first letter it should be in normal uh, lower case. And snake case, each word should be in capital with underscore like. In example, when we see this example, Salesforce dot all are in capital letters, but it is separated by underscore. In this snake case, and next naming conventions for class. The class will follows the Pascal case for naming conventions. Class name should be unique, beginning with an upper case letter. It should not contains underscores or spaces. The first letter of each interval word of a class should be in a capital. In this example, the student information yes, it should be in capital letters, but we didn't give the underscore or any spaces because it not work in this Pascal case in a uh, naming convention of for class. And next, naming conventions for variables. It follows the camel case. For naming convention, first letter in the first word should start with lower case, and internal word should start with the capital letters. Variable name should be short and sweet and meaningful. Example in this example, the first letter, the first word, the lower start with lower case, and middle phrase internal word start with the capital letter. In this variable camel case. And naming convention for methods. Methods follows camel case for naming conventions. And the first letter in the word, first word should start with lower case, and the internal words should start with capital letters. Here in this example, E is it start with lower case, and internal words alphanumeric A it should be start in capital letter, and S should be start in a capital letter. In this method camel case. Naming convention for constant, for cost, constant, constant follows snake case for naming convention. The names of variables declared class constant should be all uppercase with word separated by underscore. All uppercase letters in their format, constant underscore name. In this example, where we see constant, uh, constant name is in all uppercase. But, but it's separated by underscore. And another example in final string, account underscore limit. It, it is also separated by underscore. And it, we will give only a capital letters in this constant snake case. Thank you. You need to ask questions, right? Like you have to give uh, the next thing why you are not adding questions. Here. 
like uh, for example i am you can give one class name so this is which case snake case or pascal case camera case yes so tell me sir uh, prabhakar sir tell me what is the like a class uh, naming convention you have to use upper case sir, when it is used upper case. case that is nothing but what sir pascal case pascal starting word should be caps letter and next word also should be caps letter Mm. Okay. Uh, Gulam, tell me what is the like variable name naming convention? How can declare variable names? Gulam, sir, should we start with the small letter? Sir? I mean nothing but a camel case. Yes, yes sir, camel. First word should be should start with the small letter. First word should be small letter. So next time, words and words, it will be caps. Letter. Understand? Yeah. Hmm. So what is a method name, uh, like naming conventions? Uh, Irana? Okay. Sai Muk, what is a method name? Naming convention. Lower lower case only, camel case. Lower. Ah, camel case only. First word should be small letters. Second word should onwards, it will be caps. Cap. Right. For example, hello world, I want to create a class name. Hmm. Can anyone tell me how we can create class name hello world? Upper caps starting, sir. Hello should be small letters. Huh? Sorry, yeah. Hello should be it's first word should be H should be caps lock. W yeah. also should be caps lock. Method? H should be small, small letter. Small, small letter H. W should be? Yeah. W should be a capital yeah. letter with no space. Uh, variable name? Variable name yeah, also sir. small letter. Small letter. Uh, double. W should be capital letter with no For space. For example, I want to declare pi, sir. P-I, pi. Pi, pi and fills everyone in the math yes, 3.17. Yes, how we can declare uh, pi value will can change sir or fixed fixed no it won't change it won't change fixed right sir that is called constant constant and then sir value will not change and tell me how we can declare constants naming conventions pi. Snake Snake but if it is a only one word it should be all all should be caps letter sir in the constants all words should be caps letter if it is one word just you can give a pi is a caps letter. Understand? Yes, sir. Hmm. For example, I want to display uh, account limit is a fixed letter. I want to declare one variable constant account limit. Account, account underscore limit. Uh, all should be caps letters. Absolutely. If you have two words, what we have to do? We have to use a underscore. underscore. Understand, sir? Just follow yes. this naming convention, sir. It will be good, sir. Okay. So yes. next time onwards, we are giving presentation. They need to ask questions, sir. At the end, the questions are done. Okay. Good day, sir. Thanks.